Delicious. Delicious water. Oh. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. So let's get into the holiday spirit and bomb Mexico. <laughs> uh, hear me out. It's not really about Mexico. It's about fentanyl. It's killing our nation's youngest people like crazy. More than 75% of adolescent overdose deaths last year were actually fentanyl poisonings, not overdoses. It's so bad, schools are loading up on Narcan, a drug used to reverse overdoses. And much like Brian Kilmeade's book, you can get it free in vending machines. <laughs> just causes you to throw up, it's amazing. But Narcan is really just a Band-Aid for a crisis that's hemorrhaging lives. And yes, I can tell you that drugs are bad, but it won't change anyone's mind. I'm sorry, I can't imagine my teenage self watching clips of Hunter Biden cutting up lines on a stripper's butt and thinking, hey, I want no part of that. <laughs> I could crack an egg over a skillet and say, this is your brain on drugs, but I know it's just a trick to get me to cook. <laughs> and you guys don't come here for that anyway. You come here for the thoughtful commentary and practical advice delivered by one ridiculously good looking host and four other normal people. <laughs> so the first step in stopping the drug crisis is to address the supply. It's time to take out cartels in Mexico. Bomb the <laughs> out of them. Yeah. It'll be over in minutes. The president's morning BM lasts longer. <laughs> And if the operation starts up somewhere else, you bomb that too. Mowing down cartels would be no different than mowing the lawn. And in short time, you might be surprised how willing the cartel might be in reconsidering their investments in fentanyl. They're businessmen after all. So just change their benefit risk analysis. Because right now using drugs entails way more risk than making them. That's not how it's supposed to be. It has to be the reverse. If a cartel head can never unpack a suitcase or figure out if that weird whistling noise is a tea kettle or an incoming missile, maybe they'll reassess the fentanyl revenue stream. Now, bombing seems harsh. Consider that we've invaded countries for far less. Remember Grenada in 83? We turned that place into a sandals resort in about six minutes. And why? Concern for 600 US medical students on the island. Sure, a lot of them were smoking hot nurses, but that's not my point. That's nothing compared to the 100,000 deaths each year tied to cartels. Or how about Panama in 89? We went after Noriega because he was wanted on drug trafficking. I assure you it wasn't homemade Clearasil he was pushing. <laughs> Cheap shot. How about Yugoslavia in 99? You remember that, huh? Coincidentally, when Bill Clinton got caught misusing cigars. <laughs> Killed people for less. So when protected cartels kill 100,000 Yanks a year, how is that not already a war? And it doesn't matter if Mexican won't, Mexico won't agree when our cartels are free to invade us anyway. We didn't ask Pakistan if we could drop in and kill bin Laden. So that takes care of the supply. But what about demand? Well, we could sew every Hollywood nostril shut. That cuts demand by about 80%. But really, we have to finally admit that the desire for recreational oblivion is basically unkillable. Unfortunately, despite the risks, drugs feel good to people and provide an escape. It even goes back to caveman times. I mean, what else was there, what, what else was there to do there? It's not like they had Netflix. And if they did, the reaction to it would be the same as ours is today. Screw this crap, I'm gonna smoke some dinosaur droppings. <laughs> That's why they disappeared. We know laws won't change this facet of human behavior. Alcohol just got there first, so we accept it, despite the vehicular homicide, domestic battery, and celebrity liver transplants. But we all have a right to relief, especially anyone who works for The View. <laughs> <laughs> Legalize drugs just for that reason. But if we keep restricting safe prescribed pain relievers, a black market will thrive, and those drugs will come with deadly risks. Remember, kids aren't buying fentanyl. They're trying other things which are poisoned with the stuff. Since the tiniest amount is super lethal, it's easier to smuggle and cheaper to use as an ingredient. 
and a wall won't stop it unless it's lined with armed soldiers. You could throw a lethal bundle, bundle right over it. Well, unless you're Dr. Fauci. Figured we needed a laugh there. <laughs> Reminds me of when Dr. Jill throws Joe's teeth at him, you know, <laughs> after finding them tangled in her niece's hair. <laughs> Disgusting. But fentanyl is so easy to smuggle because a block the size of a Snickers could flatten California. Not a bad idea. I'm kidding, I still have family there for now. So that's my plan. Bomb the supply, reduce harm among the demand by availing safer, safer, clean alternatives. That gives us a fighting chance because we've lost the war on drugs. So now it's time to save some lives. Let's welcome tonight's guests. For Christmas this year, her kids want her to drink water. Fox News anchor and author of the children's book, Fiona's Fantastical Forts, ah, Julie yes, Banderas. He takes on liberal policies and issues zero apologies. New York Congressman Lee Zeldin. Her eggnog is all nog and no egg. Fox News contributor, Cat Tip. And he considers Santa's reindeer a high-protein breakfast. My massive sidekick and the NWA World Television Heavyweight Champion. You keep changing it. Congress. First of all, Congressman, congrats on a heroic campaign. I mean, you brought us almost there, but... But you, you, you brought some red to New York, you know, and that's really important because that might keep people from leaving New York. I don't know. What do you think? What? Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about bombing Mexico? <laughs> Can I answer the first question? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I mean, it, 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 times have changed. I mean, the, the closest thing to drugs with my generation was it trying to get your hands on baseball cards and candy. And <laughs> all of a sudden, through the years, mm -hmm. now I'll tell you the hardest part of serving as a member of Congress is going to some wake for some young boy, young girl, young man, young woman who's losing their life because of this. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to be tackling this head on. When we talk about our border, we often talk about it in the context of people, not so much things. Things. And you brought up one point as you talk about the uh, the finishing the wall, and that is one aspect of border security that that is important. Supporting our customs and border patrol agents that's important. Remain in Mexico policy uh, that's key. Stop incentivizing and rewarding illegal entry mm -hmm. that would help. There's a catch and release policy that is a real problem. Joe Biden hasn't even been to the border, mm -hmm. and that's how things are coming across as but, well. But I mean, th th this stuff is so tiny. Yeah. It's so tiny. I mean, like, you, you, he, you, he, the baby in San Francisco picks up a tiny little rock, and next thing she knows, she's in the hospital unconscious, and they, she almost dies. I mean, the border thing, like, you could have, again, you would have to have guards, for, as far as I could see. So should we bomb Mexico, Lee? That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the bombing of Mexico. <laughs> Listen, I'm a military guy. I'm in my 20th year now in, in the Army. And the idea of us, I mean, we're stretched thin as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're firing all these people uh, yeah. for not getting the COVID shot. And there's all sorts of issues yeah. impacting morale. And otherwise, uh, I, I don't think that we should be starting a war in Mexico. It's not a, it's uh, not a war against Mexico. I think that bombing is an act of war. No, I mean, <laughs> wait, we, I'm not a foreign policy expert. And, that's, <laughs> and you never will be one. Could be. No, and also 86.3% of uh, fentanyl trafficking convictions are United States citizens. Mm -hmm. Sorry that ruined everybody's part. No, but that's where is it coming from? Okay, Come so. Come on, you don't avoid point, the point. Here's more I'm stats. talking about cartels. Point, not, okay, 0.02% yeah. ah, of those it's... arrested by Border Patrol had fentanyl on them. It's easy to, because it is so small, like you said, to legally bring over the border. So it's not, it's rare that people are bringing it over. I'm not talking about who's bringing it over. That's not my point. My point is where it's being made. The cartels are the people in control. Bomb I've, them. Right. Bomb them is where many people might have an issue. <laughs> I don't. 
<laughs> I don't. You let him know ahead of time. That. You let him know, hey, you guys, we know where you are. We're going to bomb you. You guys have 15, 20 minutes to get your stuff out. They got to go. And then um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to address cartels as though they're a business. Right now, they need a, dis a dis disincentive, not an incentive to do fentanyl. Hey, if you want to do meth, do meth. You want to do coke, do coke. But this thing is, uh, we, won't, we won't be okay with fentanyl. So that means 100,000 like 100, people, we stop at that. If you want to go back to selling coke, that's fine. But the point is, you have to disincentivize the business. Which, if you disincentivize, disincentivize the business, sure. I mean, if all drugs are legalized, then there's no issue. You can yeah. get whatever you want and know exactly that's what you're getting. I'm still not going to do heroin because the reason I don't do it is not because it's illegal. I know. And many people feel that way, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Unless you guys are all just looking for heroin. <laughs> Because if that's the case, <laughs> I'll be outside. Uh, just a little second business I'm running. <coughs> Julie, this is lemonade stand. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, you are familiar with being bombed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, I do not believe bombing Mexico in that regard is right. Okay. Um, it's a good thing you've never run for office. <laughs> I, st um, I don't I don't see the uh, let's say okay it is an act of war <laughs> people would die most likely many innocents no I'm a talking lot about bombing stray the dogs cartels. would die too the, I'm just saying yeah. I, I think I mean I think bombing the cartels is kind of impossible I think to pinpoint so that no innocent people we are, know where everything is yeah no of course we did yeah no I mean yeah, you're right. We we're so smart, but um, <laughs> but I but I also have to say, just like the drug the drug epidemic in this country is so bad, and I and I do believe that a lot of it is coming over the border. Obviously, our borders are not closed like the White House maintains they yeah. are. But if you just look at drugs in, in general, like she was saying, you know, if you legalize certain drugs, it wouldn't be, become that big of a problem. However, I am concerned with the fact that marijuana was legalized. Uh, as a side note, um, and the fact that more and more people are actually smoking pot or taking edibles at as young as the age of six to eight. You saw that study that mm -hmm. came out. Researchers between six and like, since when did parents become such losers? Yeah. Because I believe that the parents in this country are dropping the ball. Yeah. And I believe a lot of this has to do with kids that are dabbling in drugs, that there's a speck of fentanyl, you die. But you're dabbling in drugs, why? Because your parents don't know what the hell you're doing. But it is, parents I mean, it's, to watch their it's, kids. it's Russian roulette. <laughs> Kyrus, last word. I've told you several times, when you want to talk about being aggressive, talk to me first. <laughs> because your, your wording, mm -hmm. we're not going to bomb. Bombing's bad, okay? Yes. But we are going to target some very bad people. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Yes, I see got it. See how we did that? Yes. Yes. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I used the wrong I, word. I'm not going to beat the cameraman up. Yes. I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> See, it's all in how you say it. Exactly. <laughs> so, yes, Greg, I'm for targeting mm -hmm. cartels with you. I think your, your point is strong and valid, but it's about words. Yeah. And when I say words, when you have a president who says, I have better things to do mm -hmm. than deal with the border, that's what we're up against. And also, consequences. If... Because we don't have consequences and accountability anymore, that's what parents are not doing, because if little Johnny went out to get, I don't know, one of the kids, some, something to keep him up all night, mm -hmm. and it accidentally had fentanyl in it, the fact that he went to buy something to keep it should get him kicked off the football team. Mm -hmm. So then the next time his friends go, well, hey, I'm going to go score some speed, they'll go, no, 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 I don't want to get, if I do that, I'll get kicked, I'll get suspended, or I'll get expelled, or I'll lose this or lose that. We're, there's no accountability anymore. Now you're saying you got to give back accountability. We don't call kids out on their sitting you know. Schools have to be schools again. Schools rhymes with rules. You like to rhyme. I do. We need the rules back. <laughs> Remember, targeting. Targeting, yes. But then my monologue wouldn't have been as much fun if I said, should we target Mexico? And the crowd would have went, yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I learned a valuable lesson. No, he didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> right over his head. <laughs> yeah. Most things well, are. Well, it's not hard to get anything <laughs> over his head. You know, I already made that joke, Julie. Really. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.